and welcome back to the breakdown. Today I want to be teaching you how to download and install shaders in Minecraft 1.15.2. Yes, finally! Shaders has come out for Minecraft 1.15.2 and in this video we're going to be showing you every single step of getting shaders set up, installed, finding shaders packs. We have an incredible list here of five shaders packs that we're going to be installing today. So all of that is covered in this video in depth and uh, it's going to be awesome. So after this video, you'll have the top shaders packs out there. Any shaders pack you want, you'll be able to install it in 1.15, assuming it's 1.15 compatible, which all of ours on our list here are. So that is pretty convenient. But nevertheless, before we get into this video, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Dose. You go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24-hour DDoS directed Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you were looking to start your own Minecraft server in a quick and easy way apex minecraft hosting is the way to go check out apex the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex now let's let's go ahead and jump right on into this so obviously before you can install shaders in minecraft you need to download a shaders pack now there are tons of different shaders packs out there but in this article we have five shaders packs that are all pretty good right we have everything from you know continuum shaders which is my personal favorite all the way down to things like sonic ethers which is also pretty good and bsl shaders which is a brighter shaders pack in comparison to the others on this list so I'm going to be installing Continuum Shaders, but the process is going to be the exact same. From this list, click on Download, and that's actually going to take you to the download page for Continuum Shaders here, where you want to just scroll down. Now, the download page for these are all going to look different, right? It's all going to be different there. On this one, you scroll down to the bottom until you see Continuum Downloads. For others, for example, if we click on Cylinders Vibrant Shaders here, it's going to take you to our website, where we have this in-depth tutorial on installing Cylinders. Then click on Download Cylinders there, and then it's going to take you off to the download page. You can see all the download buttons here, right? But anyway, for Continuum, what we want to do, again, is click on the Download button right here on our website. Under Continuum, click on the green Download button. It takes us off to their Download page, where you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom until you see Continuum Downloads. When you click on that, it's going to take us over to their Download page, where we want to download the most recent version, and that's going to be Continuum 2.0.4 in this case. When you click on Download, it's going to download automatically in the bottom left. Now, you shouldn't need to keep Shaders files because they're usually .zip files, but if you do, they're safe to save as long as the name of the Shaders pack that you're installing is in the name of the file you're downloading. In our case, Continuum, so it is good to keep it or save it. Now, you might have to save the file on Mozilla Firefox, and if you do, again, it is safe to save as long as the name of the Shaders pack is in the name of the file that you're downloading. So once we've done that, we are done downloading. Loading completely, we still need to download Optifine. Why do we need Optifine? Because Optifine is needed. Optifine is required, right, for shaders in Minecraft 1.15.2. It's literally how shaders work. They work using Optifine. So we need to download Optifine. Now we do have an in-depth tutorial on this here, and this is linked in the description down below. You'll go to this website here. This is our website with our tutorial to, in order to get to the correct download, but I am going to go through most of getting Optifine in this video. However, I won't be troubleshooting everything, right? There are some issues that you can have in song Optifine. That's covered in our in-depth tutorial. This tutorial is like 15 minutes long here on just Optifine. So if you have any issues, go do that. Otherwise, once you're here on this page, it's going to be the third link down below. Once you're here, click on the green download Optifine button. That'll take you off to Optifine's official website. Now, if you see Minecraft 1.15.2 here, come under it and click the mirror under the download at the top. But if you don't see Minecraft 1.15.2 here, click on preview versions, right? So we click on preview versions and then you'll see Optifine 1.15.2. Again, if you don't see Minecraft 1.15.2 here, click on Preview Versions, and then you'll see Optifine 1.15.2. Then come over and click on the Mirror button to the right of Minecraft or of Optifine 1.15.2 here. When you click on that, it will take you off to this page where you want to click on the Download Preview Optifine 1.15.2 or Download Optifine 1.15.2. Click on this right here where this like it says Download Optifine, and then when you do, it'll go ahead and download Optifine in the bottom left. Now you will need to keep this file, right? And as long as it has Optifine in the title you are good to keep it on Mozilla Firefox. It'll open in the center of your screen and it is safe to save the file on the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox as long as it has Optifine in the title. Now that we've got Optifine and our shaders pack downloaded, we can minimize our browser. And here on our desktop, we have Continuum and we have Optifine. Now, Continuum shaders is still downloading for me, but that'll go away here in a second. So we have Continuum shaders downloaded and Optifine. Whatever shaders pack you have, they're going to all be installed in the exact same way. So don't be freaking out about that. It's going to be the exact same process no matter what. Now what we want to do, if these aren't on your desktop, is get them from your downloads folder. So what we want to do is go to the little windows icon. It's in the top left for me. It's probably in the bottom left of your screen, but it's either going to be in the top or bottom left of your screen, that little windows icon. Click on that and then go ahead and type in downloads. And then have this downloads file folder in windows. And in here you will find Optifine and Continuum or the shaders pack that you downloaded. And then drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. 
Once these are on your desktop, we're going to start off by installing Optifine. To do that, right click on Optifine, click on Open With, and then you should have Java here. If you don't have Java here, or if you do and you click on Java and click OK and it doesn't work, or if this doesn't even look like this, right, it doesn't look like this Java coffee cup, it looks like something completely different when you right click on it, it doesn't even open stuff. What do you do, right? If that's the case, we have a solution for you. If you can't open this file, it doesn't look correct, we have a solution. And that solution is going to the description down below and learning how to download and install Java for a Minecraft mod. Shaders is technically a Minecraft mod, Optifine, so you need to install this version of Java in order to make sure that all works correctly. And we do keep this updated here. This link will always take you to the most recent version of Java that will work with Minecraft. So yeah, go check that out and get Java downloaded. And then you should be able to open up Optifine. But if you still can't open up Optifine, if the file still doesn't look like a Java, file no worries we have one more solution also in the description down below and that is the jar fix and this will teach you how and basically it will take and repair all the jar files on your computer and make them work with java once again it's a simple program that you download three-step process to get all the .jar files on your computer, like Optifine, working with Java once again. Super simple, super easy, and a very effective program that you can check out here. Now, once you've done that, finally, you'll be able to right-click on Optifine, click on Open With, click on Java TM Platform SE Binary, and click OK. Then when you click on that, it's going to open up the Optifine installer here, where we can go ahead and click on the Install button right there. When you click on Install, it will go ahead and install Optifine. It is that simple. Take it a second, and then there it is. Optifine is successfully installed. No progress bar or anything. Just wait for a few minutes, and then Optifine is successfully installed. It shouldn't take a few minutes. It literally took like five seconds there. But anyway, go ahead and click on OK when it says Optifine is successfully installed, and it will close out of the launcher. Now we need to go ahead and install the shaders pack. Now to do this, we actually want to open up the Minecraft launcher. So once we're in the Minecraft launcher here, what we want to do is click on this little arrow to the left of the play button. Now you should have an Optifine profile here, and if you do, and as long as it says 1.15.2 dash Optifine under it, click on that and click play but what if you don't have that Optifine profile or what if you do and it doesn't have 1.15.2 dash Optifine under it it has a different version well no worries we have a solution click on the installations tab up here at the top of Minecraft and then once you're here, what you want to do is click on this plus new here. So click on installations and then click on plus new. Now you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I name it that? Because that is our incredible Minecraft server. It's a network server. We have factions, survival, skyblock. It is absolutely amazing. Our faction server actually launches April 15th to the public. First time I've ever said that publicly. And we also have survival servers. We have medieval survival with 30 custom quests and a player-based economy. Aquatic survival with a slash shop-based economy. MCMO jobs, all that awesome stuff. And then you do have Skyblock with custom islands, OP enchants, and just a ton of fun. Finch generators, 1.8 PvP. Skyblock is amazing. So come play with us. Playdartbreakdowncraft.com is the IP for incredible factions, survival, and Skyblock action in Minecraft. But nevertheless, what we want to do now after we've got this name set up here, we want to click on this version drop down. When you click on that version drop down, you want to find release 1.15.2 dash Optifine. For me, it's right up here at the top. Yours may be down a little bit, but most likely it's going to be closer to the top there. Click on that, and then I'm going to change the resolution just so you all can see once we get in game, and then go ahead and click create. Now, on your installations tab here at the very, very bottom, you have this profile, in our case, play.breakdowncraft.com. Under that, it says 1.15.2 dash Optifine, and if it does, you can go over and click that green play button that appears when you hover over it on the right-hand side. Now, Optifine is uploading, and we can get Continuum shaders or whatever shaders pack that you're installing. It doesn't matter. Silders, Vibrant shaders, shaders doesn't matter BLS shaders doesn't matter what you're installing when it comes to shaders packs it is going to be installed the exact same way after you get Optifine installed and even Optifine is installed the exact same way no matter what shaders pack you're getting so once you're here right we want to click on options and then we want to click on video settings now you'll have this shaders option here right so the reason you might not, if you've downloaded Optifine in the past for 1.15.2, this was blacked out. You couldn't click on shaders. Now, you can click on shaders. And when you click on it, there's not going to be anything here, but you're going to have this shaders folder in the bottom left. So to install shaders, what you want to do is start from the main menu, click on options, video settings, and then click on shaders. And then in the bottom left, click on shaders folder. This shaders folder down here in the bottom left. When you click on that, it's going to open up this folder titled shaders packs. Now, take the shaders file you downloaded. In our case, it's Continuum shaders, but for you, it might be Silder shaders. Again, it could be anything. doesn't matter what shaders pack it is, and drag and drop it into this shaders packs folder that has opened. Once it's open, or once that's drag and dropped there, come back to Minecraft, and boom, there it is, Continuum shaders. Now, it might not appear right away. You might have to click Done and click on Shaders again, and then it will appear. But once it does, click on it, and then Minecraft's going to reload, and your shaders pack is going to activate. Now, one thing I will say is that literally shaders came out a few hours ago, and Continuum shaders is as up-to-date as it can be, but there might still be issues. There might still be bugs, not only with the shaders packs themselves, but with Optifine. So if you're watching this video right after it came out, expect some bugs, expect some issues. I don't know if there's going to be any, 
but that is a forewarning. Now, one thing I do want to mention is that there are shaders options. Not only are there different options for shaders over here on the right hand side, and those can be helpful, but down here in the bottom right, we do have the shaders options button. If you click on that, it's going to give you a bunch of different options. For example, the you know different qualities that you can have for shaders, as well as you know camera settings and things like that. This is going to be different for every kind of shaders pack that's out there. So every shaders pack is going to be different. So you can change, for example, sun luminance, sun temperature, all that stuff can be changed here and you know rearranged however you want, right? So that is one thing that is really really cool and really really important about shaders, right? Most of these have a ton of different options that you can uh, you know set up and change and rearrange and all that stuff. And because of that, I want to mention it in every shaders video I do. That once you install shaders, you should have this shaders options button that you can click on and change. Once you've done that though, you can go ahead and click done, done, done. And I'm going to go ahead and jump into the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com. Almost 180 people online on a random Friday. Let's go ahead and join right on in. Again, Faction's coming April 15th. So let's join on in. I believe, yeah, we're going to join into Skyblock here. Now, there's no doubt that this is beautiful, right? We have this work. <laughs> we've got shaders. We've got our, there we can go to the Skyblock spawn. We can see all the players here and see some of these glitches like that right there. That's a glitch because, uh, well, shaders just came out again a few hours ago. That'll be fixed over time. But overall, the environment looks stunning. Just absolutely stunning. We've got the different shaders coming down here and things like that. Beautiful. Now let's go over here and switch servers. So we do slash server there. We've got medieval survival. And this is really where if we go to oops, spawn, we will be able to see... I don't have access to spawn. I guess I don't, do I? One quick second. There we go. We are now at Breakdown Craft. Basically, this is when you spawn in. You'll spawn right up there, right, to uh, get started. And you'll need to do our intro quest, which you can do by right-clicking on Medieval Survival here. Whew, that sounds harsh. Right-click and you can start a quest there. So, yeah, start that quest. Go down through here and learn about Medieval Survival. And then it will launch you out into um, what is our spawn, which is a beautiful, stunning castle. There are over four realms here. I think there's actually six realms now that you can explore and find stuff and all that awesome stuff um, with medieval survival on Breakdown Craft. But look at these shaders coming through. And then we've got this, the sun up there. Nice sun rays. And yeah, overall, awesome looking shaders pack. Absolutely love it. And uh, just stunning. Absolutely stunning. So I can't wait to see you online. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Again, almost 180 players online right now. Come play with us. Incredible stuff. You will absolutely love it. This server right here has over 30 custom quests on it. Aquatic Survival. That, uh, you know, we, we, we didn't check out Aquatic Survival. We can. But uh, Aquatic Survival here has a player slash shop based economy. So we can do slash shop. And here is all that stuff. And MCMMO, jobs, all that. And then we do have Skyblock with OP enchants custom islands, fence generators, and 1.8 PvP, and factions 1.8 coming very, very soon. 100% custom. We have put hundreds upon hundreds of hours of development. It's been development for months to get factions up and running, and it is finally ready, and will be here on April 15th for everyone. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. I can't wait to see you online, but nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Enjoy shaders. It's, it's amazing. It's finally here for Minecraft 1.15, but enjoy shaders. I can't wait to see you on Breakdown Craft. My name is Nick, and I am out. Peace.